This is Right on the Money with Tom Mosley, founder of Mosley Wealth Management. Our mission at Mosley Wealth Management is to help people make sure they never run out of income the rest of their life and they pay as little as they're legally required to pay in taxes. Since 1995, Tom Mosley and his team have been creating comprehensive custom financial plans to help you preserve what you've earned and pursue what you've envisioned. In retirement, a lot of people have built a great lump sum. We call that your lumber yard. But you need a blueprint to put that lumber yard into a plan that you can build a retirement house to live in. What's on your mind this week, Southern California? The stock market, taxes, inflation, income, Social Security, how to ease into the life of your dreams? Let's discover conservative financial strategies starting right now. This is your Right on the Money Radio Hour with Tom Mosley. And a very happy weekend to you. This is Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the CEO and president of Mosley Wealth Management, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. Tom, my friend, it's a joy to be back with you in the radio booth this week. How are you? I'm doing great. Hello to you and hello to Southern California. Absolutely. Well, we've put together another great show for all of you listening this weekend as you're probably out and about. But Tom, today's show really affects every single person who could be listening. We are going to be talking about something that affects every single family, no matter your age. And this is, it's going to be a really fascinating one. So we're excited that you're with us. We're going to be talking today about being in and a part of the sandwich generation. So Tom, first, I would love for you to define that for us and then also share with our listeners what you shared with me prior to us starting today's show about some of the recent conversations you've been having in your office regarding this very topic. Well, it seems like every financial planner that holds their shingle out as a supposed retirement specialist, many of them just doing the same things they've already done, always done, and it should be entirely different in retirement. But every financial planner holds their shingle out and they're working on baby boomers, Mm -hmm. baby boomers, baby boomers. That's what we hear so much about, right? (laughs) Oh, because there were so many of us, because that's the generation I'm a part of. Mm -hmm. But there's so many people that came behind that. And that generation has been labeled the Gen Xers. And those are people who are (laughs) right. Mm -hmm. Those are people who are age 41 to 58. And I have literally had people in the conference room say, I am so sick of hearing about baby boomers. Don't Mm -hmm. I count too? Mm -hmm. Because they say, I'm not a baby boomer. I don't think exactly like a baby boomer. I don't have the same experiences that baby boomers have. And they're absolutely right. And that's the gist of what we're going to talk about. And obviously, this is a financial show. Mm -hmm. This is a retirement emphasis show. So we're going to talk about and and I titled the show, in my, I'm in my 50s and I feel like a sandwich, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. because you feel like a sandwich. And let me tell you why. A lot of people in their 50s, and we have them in our conference rooms all across Southern California every single week, and they're not only dealing with their adult parents, mm-hmm. their elderly parents, but they're also dealing with their children. And people in their 50s, let me tell you something, Kristen, can have children in their single digits, in their teens, Mm -hmm. in their 20s, in their 30s. They're all over the place. So when you title this thing and you said, this is a show that impacts everyone, it absolutely does. It It absolutely does. does. And those 50-year-olds, those Generation Xs, they're the meat of the sandwich. A lot of times they're the ones paying all the bills, Mm -hmm. you know? And And feeling that that squeeze, literally. (laughs) Feeling the squeeze. And I'm hungry right now just talking about the sandwich. (laughs) Sandwiches, right? (laughs) Just, no, for sure. But the idea sometimes, Kristen, that they're forgotten. I think of the great movie. If you haven't watched it, you need to call League of Their Own. It's about yes. the Women's Baseball League in the 40s. And I remember when the scene there, when the scout was trying to get Dottie to come play for the team and didn't mm-hmm. really want the little sister kit. And the emphasis was all on Dottie this and Dottie that. Sort of like Baby Boomer this, Baby Boomer that. Mm-hmm. And the Gen, Gen Xers are the ones that are left out. And I remember Dottie saying, well, you're just as important. And and Kit, the, the younger one, said, no, don't you even see how Daddy introduces us to people? Here's my daughter, Dottie, and here's my other daughter, Dottie's sister. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And so that's the way Gen Xers feel. They feel left out. They feel hit on all sides yes. because they are. 
So yeah. that's where the sandwich comes in. That's why they're between their kids and their parents. Well, and just like baby boomers have introduced a whole new set of retirement challenges, because we've said this before, we say it on the TV show and on this radio show, that today's modern retiree is facing so many more challenges than previous generations did. And baby boomers have their own set of challenges, but just as important, Gen Xers too. We have our own set of new challenges that retirement planners are going to have to face. And a lot of it has to do with being a part of the sandwich generation. Exactly. And the, and like you said, you feel squeezed. Mm -hmm. And the one side we can wade into talking about, the one side you feel squeezed from is your parents. Right. Because many times, let's talk about your parents your parents have been great to you. The mm -hmm. scriptures even tell us that we need to pay back our parents for them taking care of us when we were young. Mm -hmm. There's a big word they use in the old English called requite, you know, so you sort of pay it back. Mm -hmm. But are many of the people, and if you're out there listening, you may find yourself, hey, that's exactly me. You're still having to take care of your parents. Maybe it's not directly financial, but there are many people, Kristen, who have to actually stop work yes. to take care of their parents. I, yep. I love stories from real life. Mm -hmm. And I saw a lady about six weeks ago in our main conference room right here in Anaheim. And she came in, she was 50 years old. And she said, Tom, I need to get started. I'm 50 years old. And most of the time you would think, well, you've just been irresponsible up until now. But when I found out about her story, Kristen, she had for the last 15 years not worked the job, mm. lived with her elderly parents and cared for both of them as they had Alzheimer's mm. and her, her last parent just died about a month before that time that we met. Mm -hmm. And she said, I need to know the right way to get started. So it may impact you financially, not draining what you've put together. You may not have mm -hmm. to be paying financially, but you may have to stop your work to take care of your parents. We see yeah. that all the time with this generation. Yep. Well, and and I will add to that too. You know, there's so much that goes into that care to your point, Tom. It's not just financial. It's taking mom and dad to doctor's appointments. It's helping with the financial side of things. It's helping them when, you know, their memory starts to go. And I think of my best friend, her father is battling Alzheimer's. He's in his early 80s. Her mom, I believe, is 78, 79, somewhere around there. And she is just having a time caring for him. She's had a couple nasty falls. So next thing you know, her parents have moved in with her and her family. Talk about feeling the squeeze. They have young children at home in grade school. And she has her elderly parents. And now they're literally caring for both at once. And it, it's a lot. And I know she's happy to do it. She loves her family. She loves her parents. But even if it's not that direct financial impact, there's the emotional impact, there's, you know, the time off work, even if you don't have to quit working, it, it does take time away. And we know that already women earn less on average than men with social security and everything else. A lot of that comes from time out of the workforce, not only caring for children, but also caring for aging parents. And I run back to the word you used that is so true, Kristen, happy to do it. You're happy to do it. Mm -hmm. You want to do it. You know, you're going to, you're going to do it. Okay. Right. Yep. But the impact that it makes, because here you are in previous generations, like when the baby boomers turned 50, their parents had pensions. Yeah. You know, their parents, yep. their parents might have had long term care, nursing home. And here's they another, weren't living as long on average, they right? They weren't living as long. But here's another thing. 20, 30, 40 years ago, families were bigger. It wasn't mm -hmm. unusual to see four or five or six kids in a family. And so it wasn't a burden or it wasn't a, uh, a burden a blessing, you might say, right, right yeah. on mm -hmm. one child or, you know, and then also it seems that that the children didn't move as far as quickly. And now mm -hmm. I've even got five children that are spread all over the country right. and, and, and myself. So those kind of things didn't happen a generation ago when baby boomers were going through their 50s. But if you're in your 50s right now, you may be facing taking care of your parents and, and you might have to do it for a while. Recently, Chris and I had a 73 and a 70 year old client that have been with me for over a decade. Mm. And she kept looking at her watch when they came in for an evaluation. Mm -hmm. And I, I finally said, uh, 
are you guys on a time constraint? And she said, yeah, we got to go take care of his parents. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm looking, he's 73, she's 71. I said, how old are his parents? And, and he spoke up and he said, my dad's 96 and my mom's 93. Wow. So that longevity factor mm -hmm. might mean that, that you're going to have to take care of them more. Now the, he, let's, let's move into the financial aspect mm -hmm. because the health is what causes it. But, but let me tell you something that is going to make a major impact on you. If you have to stop work, if you have to work less, if you have mm -hmm. to take a lesser job, it, you might actually, it, it might, you might not even say that I have to pay the bills because mom and dad can pay the bills, but somebody's like you said, earlier, Kristen's got to take them to the doctor. So mm -hmm. these are things that, that are going to come in retirement. And if you're in your forties and, and you're, you're, you're probably going to be facing something like this. Mm -hmm. So you need to at least prepare for it and know, and then, and then there's that other aspect of you've got a chance right now, and we don't want to hasten them out, but you've got a chance right now to make some real key uh, leadership moves with your parents mm -hmm. to get them ready to pass away financially. Now, when we come back in the second segment, I'm going to talk to you more about that, okay? Mm -hmm. Because there's some real key things I think you need to do that I've just learned in 28 years of doing this to, to be able to help you. Let me tell you, if you're listening to me and you're in your 50s, you may not feel it yet, but you may be listening to this radio show and you may say, hey, you know what? I, I can sense that that's going to come. Well, you need to get ready for it. You need to be prepared for it. And the best way, if you're going to take a punch, if you're going to take a hit, I can remember from playing and coaching football, if I was a little bit off balance, I mean, and somebody hit me, I went down and it, it was atrocious because that ground always hurt, mm -hmm. you know, when I hit it. Yep. And it, it was just one of those one of those hits you see in football where it's a loud hit. It might not hurt as much as the ground, but it's just a, a real pictorial hit. You know, you may be a little bit off balance going into your own retirement. And I want to encourage you that the best thing you can do if you're in your 50s and you sense that this taking care of parents and taking care of kids is going to come to you is get your own act together and say, we need to get our ducks in a row so we can take care of all these people that are going to hit us from our parent on the top and from our kids on the bottom. We're going to get hit from all sides. You need a retirement blueprint and a plan for yourself. That, that's so important to have one, a comprehensive, holistic plan to make sure that you're on track to not only do all the things that you're feeling pulled in all these different directions, caring for your parents, caring for your kids, but most importantly, to make sure that your retirement can still stay on track. That number to call to get your very own customized retirement blueprint from Tom and his all-star team of advisors is 888-930-5609. More on this important subject when we come back. With volatile economic conditions, rising taxes, inflation, and interest rates, retirement has become a complex landscape. We think that today's modern retiree faces more challenges than previous generations did, such as longevity and legislation risks. That's why we believe it's important to stay informed and be prepared. At Mosley Wealth Management, we pay attention to the financial currents and develop a retirement plan that is designed to help meet your unique needs and goals. From investment strategies to tax-efficient planning, Tom Mosley and the team at Mosley Wealth Management are here to guide you along the way. Don't let today's economic winds potentially blow your retirement off course. Call Mosley Wealth Management for your own complimentary retirement blueprint and written financial plan. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley, CEO and President of Mosley Wealth Management based right here in Southern California. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. We are talking today about being a part of the sandwich generation. Those of you that are listening that are in your 50s who are feeling the pull of caring for aging parents while you're caring for children. And really, as we said at the top of the show, Tom, this is something that affects every single family, every single generation, even if you're not the one in the meat of the sandwich, so to speak, right? Absolutely. I mean, you take my situation right now. My wife and I uh, have a daughter at home and have uh, a, a two-year-old grandchild and a six-year-old grandchild at our home right now. So mm -hmm. it, it's amazing how it impacts you at different times. And 
that's a temporary situation with our situation, but it's something that my daughter needs right now. So guess what? We're doing it. And so that goes all the way from two years old, all the way into the seventies. So that's pretty much every generation, you know? Well, and you know, Tom, that my story is a little more unconventional as my husband and I don't yet have children of our own. We are in our mid forties, but we have a 29 year old nephew who was with us for two and a half years and he just moved back in. (laughs) So we are caring for him as well as our parents who are are in their eighties or approaching 80. So um, one of I, these generations needs to be called the boomerang generation because right. they keep coming back. You exactly. Know? So, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we love them, but yes, boomerang for sure. Well, yeah. you mentioned something really important at the end of our first segment. You were talking about the importance of what even baby boomers can be doing to help if you will, this transition of when they pass and there's strategic things that those of us in the sandwich generation in generation X can be doing, helping our parents, leading them so that things can pass smoothly. And, you know, with estate planning, it's never a fun thing to talk about, but it is by far one of the most loving things that you can ever do for those that you leave behind. And I know you have seen, as I have nightmare situations where Things that could have been so easily avoided were not because people didn't either have the knowledge or follow through on the action. A lot of times because people want to avoid thinking about these things, but you can not afford to not think about them and to take the appropriate steps needed to make sure that all the stuff is buttoned up. You're so right. I mean, once your parents are gone, it's impossible for them to put down their wishes. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, they're not going to be sitting there the rocking chair or the sofa or the the kitchen table or walk, taking a walk with them two years before they pass away and them tell you what they want done. Unfortunately, that's not written down right. and that's not going to be able to be taken care of. You need to take care as much as you can of getting your parents in preparation for when they pass. Now, I understand how tough this is. My mom, my mom and dad have both passed, mm-hmm. but I can remember when I was in my 20s buying my first house. And I was a a youth pastor in a church Mm -hmm. and the bank came back and they said, well, you know, your dad, we know he's got significant money. Can we get a statement on his assets just to know that you've got a family member that's able to back you up in case something goes wrong with this loan, Mm -hmm. whether that was right or wrong. That's the way they did it back then. Right. And I remember I lived in West Texas and my dad lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I called him and I said, dad, I'm Only thing I need to get my loan on my home is just your bank statement to make sure that they've got, I've got a family member that has assets. And I can remember my dad, he he said, son, if you have to have my bank statement to get a loan for a house, you're never going to get a house. Mm -hmm. And because they were just so private and I've run into other people in 28 years of being in financial services Mm -hmm. that their parents are so private their parents don't want to talk about anything. Mm-hmm. They don't want to reveal anything. So there are some things you need to try to nudge your parents lovingly to do. They need to get their trust. In most cases, they need a trust. I'm not an estate planning attorney. So this is just a recommendation from being a financial planner, like mm-hmm. a one-off here. I'm not the official capacity of recommending this, but the wills and the power of attorney to to do a healthcare directive. I've seen Mm -hmm. so many times, Kristen, those things needed to be in place, but they weren't. And what happens is your family turns into that WWF wild, wonderful family turns Mm -hmm. into the wild, wonderful wrestling family Mm -hmm. because they wrestle with each other and families split up over mom wanted to do this. Dad Mm -hmm. wanted to do Mm -hmm. this. This is what they intended to do. And mom and dad are, are not gone yet but they're past the capacity to be able to tell them what they want. So Mm -hmm. I'm not making anything off of this, okay? If you can, do your best to get your parents to get their wills, their trust, their directives all in order. It's tough because you've got to lead people who are very private and they don't want to let you know sometimes all of their details. And sometimes they're not, sometimes they're open but they need to get those things in place. It's too late after they're gone. And I've seen families split up over falling out of things that could be laid out Mm -hmm. if the parents would just get their passing 
and the preparation for their passing in the right order. Absolutely. And you know, when you're grieving, that's not the time on top of everything else when you want to be waiting through all this. I think that's often what contributes to family strife is different people grieve in different ways. And so when this stuff isn't buttoned up, it just kind of there's that heightened emotional component to all of it. And we just want to want to eliminate that for folks as much as possible. I would add too, Tom, you had a, a very healthy list there of things people need to be thinking about. Also beneficiary designations. There's so many horror stories where maybe it was a second marriage and someone didn't go back and update and change the beneficiary's name. And whatever's name is listed will always trump what the will says. So those need to be up to date as well. And you know, if you're out there listening, you might've heard of the Secure Act 1.0 and the Secure Act 2.0. Well, they made a major change if your parents have IRAs. And you may be sitting back thinking, I don't care if I get anything from my parents, but you may get a nice IRA from your parents that also might bring along with it a very big tax burden to you. Mm -hmm. Because now, instead of you being able to inherit an IRA from your parents and then take it out over your lifetime, now you have to take that IRA out over a 10-year period. So that may increase your tax burden significantly. Again, we're talking to people in their 40s and 50s, then you're in your prime earning years in most cases during those years. But inheriting that IRA from mom and dad may be a huge tax burden. And there may be some things that your parents can be led and shown how they can make better preparation to get that ready to pass to you without it becoming a burden. And that. You know, I know we're sort of in the middle of this segment, but that's mm -hmm. one of the things we do, Kristen. Yeah. We look at the, you know, there's a big word out there called holistic, which means you take care of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And we really do. All six of our all-star fiduciary advisors sit down with people and we look at the whole picture. We're not brokers mm -hmm. that are just there trying to invest you into something and, and to get you into something and to sell you something. We're trying to build a financial plan that's going to get you through retirement so that you don't have to worry about running out of income. And you also make sure that you pay as little as you're legally required to pay in taxes. And so what you do when you respond to this program and you call in, you get on our calendars of one of our advisors. We have five offices. We have a beautiful office in Glendale, brand new office in Arcadia, relatively new office in Ontario, our main office here in Anaheim. We have an office in San Diego right here at Scripps Ranch. You come in, you meet with one of our advisors, and then we as a team work on building a holistic plan for you so that you can prepare for this. And, and Kristen, it is very, very common for us to work with a client and then subsequently work with their parents mm -hmm. to get these things in order because, it, you, you know, your parents aren't going to have to deal with it because they're gone. Right. You're going to have to deal with it. And the best way for us to be able to talk somebody into getting their uh, leaving this life in order financially is for them to go through a situation with their parents where their parents weren't ready to leave this yes. life then we don't have mm -hmm. to talk those people into it at all. For your own no-cost retirement blueprint, call Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management, 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Right, yep. And it just makes sense to do it cohesively so everyone can be on the same page. And as we always say, that comprehensive approach, how you make a decision in one area of your financial life does and will affect all the others. And this is so true across generations. So I appreciate that you guys are so committed to always looking at all the puzzle pieces, if you will, and really helping give advice that is in fact in people's best interest. Well, then you got interest. your kids. Let's talk about the other side yeah. of the sandwich for a minute or so here before we have to go to break. Your kids are there too. I mean, I have five kids and fortunately the youngest one just turned 27. They're all self-supporting, at least for now. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, because they have, they have that boomerang effect of, of coming back sometimes, but you have your kids and, and people in their forties and fifties, you may not even have kids like you and your husband, Kristen, you may uh, be still planning to have kids. You may have kids in the elementary school in junior high and high school and their, their expenses, their little league fees and travel ball fees and dance fees. And believe you me, I've, I've paid enough of those fleas in my <laughs> lifetime. And, and so you may be getting hit on the one side, that's the sandwich with your parents that we've talked about, mm -hmm. but you may be having to take care of those things. And you say, well, I'm glad they got to college. I can't wait to college. 
guess what? They have these dreaded parent plus loans then. Mm -hmm. And then when they, when they get out of college, because they majored in sociology, they can't get a job. They're working at McDonald's and you have to help them get a house. Mm -hmm. So, so there's so many things in that sandwich generation. Oh, by the way, we have to take care of ourselves too. Yes, for sure. And that's and why you need a plan. Absolutely. Plan. And I know we're going to be devoting the rest of the show to really helping folks navigate strategies. We don't ever want to be Debbie Downers on the show. This is about solutions to help you meet you where you are and then help you have a solid plan in place. And so again, if you would like some help receiving a customized, personalized retirement blueprint, maybe you have questions about some of the things we've talked about on today's show. But Tom and the team at Mosley Wealth Management are here to serve you as your fiduciary. They are legally obligated and is their joy to be able to serve you and give you advice that is in fact in your best interest. So to receive your own personalized retirement blueprint, all you need to do is call 888-930-5609. More on Right on the Money with Tom Mosley right after this. Do you know how you'll generate income from your investments along with your social security in retirement? In our opinion, it's never too early to start the income planning process for your future. An income plan can help you work towards creating a steady stream of income to support you throughout your retirement years. Don't leave your financial future to chance. Take control today and start income planning for your retirement. Call the team at Mosley Wealth Management so we can help you design a complimentary written income plan to help you live the retirement you've always wanted. Call 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Which will you spend more money on in retirement, food or health care? Do you take your investments out of the stock market now that you're retired? How do you know if you've saved enough to stay retired? Will your social security check be reduced in the future? How do you produce income from your nest egg to fight costs like taxes and inflation? At Mosley Wealth Management, Tom Mosley and the team take the guessing out of retirement planning by devising a written plan that accounts for all of your concerns. The bigger question, are you going to be okay in retirement? Find out the answers to your retirement questions by calling Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management, 888-930-5609. Well, Tom, I know that we want to spend the rest of the show today talking about solutions for folks who are really feeling the squeeze as being a part of the sandwich generation. Again, this is often affecting people today in their 40s and their 50s as they are caring for aging parents as well as caring for their own children. You've shared something with me that I think is a really fascinating perspective on scarcity and a scarcity mindset as it relates to the sandwich generation. So let's start off with that because that mindset is everything. Mindset is everything. When it comes to economic, you know, people are afraid of the word sometimes scarcity. But uh, when I got my MBA at Pepperdine, Dr. Reisman taught, taught us in economics that there's a principle called scarcity. Mm -hmm. And that is that you have a limited amount of resources and almost an unlimited amount of opportunity or want. So you're like the kid in the candy store. Mm -hmm. You can't do everything sometimes. And you may be listening to the first part of this program, and I'm really trying to make sure you feel this, even if you're not experiencing it yet. But you may get to the point where you say, I've just got so, you know, you're knee deep in alligators, you know, or like the proverb, you're a one arm paper hanger, you know, mm -hmm. trying to hang paper on the side of a wall with one arm. And you just feel like there's so many things to do. And there are limited resources. There is scarcity. And, and scarcity occurs when, when your resources, you know, ex exceeds what you can do. So here's what I, wa I want you to look at. I want you to not look at what you need to do to get ready for your own retirement and to get yourself through this time of being a sandwich generation, not as a sacrifice. A sacrifice means you're giving up stuff. Mm -hmm. I want you to try to look at it as a prioritizing time mm -hmm. where you make priorita priorities and you set those priorities down and you say, I've got to have something for the parents. Mm -hmm. I've got to have something for the kids. Sometimes you're even taking care of your grandkids. And sometimes I've got people who are even taking care of their grandparents, Kristen. Mm -hmm. And so guess who gets left out in all that list? You, you do. Yep. You do. And as I've told the people who are, if you're listening to me, you're, you're, you're listening to me, you're in your 50s, you're really who we're talking to today, your 40s. 
if you're listening to, and you may be in your 60s and you may say, hey, wait, that's me too. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to me, you're the goose in most cases that's laying the family golden egg. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to kill the goose in order to supply all of these people who are needing money and all of these things that are drawing the gold off of the pile. So you have to sit down and say, hey, maybe everybody else needs something, but I've got to not necessarily give it all to the kids or give it all to the parents or give it all to the grandkids. I've got to also set aside a plan for myself. Mm -hmm. How do we do that in our 40s and 50s when we're getting sandwiched? Well, the first thing you do in any kind of plan, Kristen, and it's a, it's a one word deal, start. Tom Mosley and the team have helped thousands of folks like you in Southern California plan for their retirement. Now make the call yourself. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. If you've mm -hmm. not done it, there, there are so many people like the lady I mentioned in the first segment who was taking care of her parents for 15 years and she was just at the point of start. Wherever you are, you've got to say, okay, if you're in your 50s, you're probably 15 or 20 years at the most from retirement. If you're in your 40s, you may have 25 to 30. You may have, quote, wasted 15 or 20 years, but what are you going to do about it? You've mm -hmm. got to start. So you, first of all, you assess where you're at right now. Maybe you've started in the past a retirement plan at an old company. That's great. That's a start. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how sometimes when you just leave those things alone, they grow and they grow and they grow if they're properly invested. Or if you really want to give some attention to them, they could be a very good start to building a retirement plan. Maybe you've got a savings. Maybe you've got a house and you haven't had to refi mm -hmm. and you haven't had to take cash out. And so you've got some equity in that house. So look at the positives of where you're at right now and assess your situation. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to go from here to Dallas, I always use that illustration on this show. Mm -hmm. I've got to first know where I'm at right now. Right. I mean, even if I'm in Orange County, I got to know how do I get to the airport? Do I go north? Do I go south? Do I go east? Do I go west? And then I hope that pilot has a plane to assess and the first thing he's got to assess when he builds that flight plan is, where am I now? Mm -hmm. So you've got to know where you're at right now, and you've got to sketch that flight plan. You've got to sketch a goal, Kristen, as to mm -hmm. where we want to go. Right. You have to know where you're starting from. Otherwise, you can't build a plan. <laughs> you right. have to know where you're starting from and where you want to go. Yep. I've, I've heard it said that a map is no good unless you have two components. You know where you want to go and you know where you're at right now mm -hmm. because then you can map out a plan. So that sketching of, of goals and, and Kristen, that's where you, you really sit down. And, and, and I think, Kristen, this is the key that so many people miss. This is the emotional juice, if you want to call it that, that gives spunk to their retirement. Mm -hmm. Because you need to sit down when you're 40 and 50 and say, hey, what does retirement look like? Especially if you're married. If you're single, set it down and do it yourself. If you're single and you've got a partner you're going through life with, fantastic. Sit down and say, what does retirement look like? If you're married, what does retirement look like? Get a vision, get a goal, get some excitement. I, I, I'm going in May to Glacier, mm. to Glacier National Park. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, there's not a two-day period that I don't go by. And once you get on the internet and you Google Glacier, mm -hmm. the internet will feed you stuff about Glacier. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. And I am looking at every single thing I can about Glacier because I'm anticipating that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. I'm picking and choosing things I want to do on the different days, okay? Mm -hmm. I've already made the housing Airbnb reservation. We're going with two or three other uh, couples. My wife and I are going with two or three other couples that we vacation with. Mm -hmm. We've already gotten our rental car. We know what the, each person sort of wants to do each day so we can have it as a collective group. So in other words, we're putting the plan together. And I'll tell you what, guess what we talk about? With those couples, every time we get on the phone with them or we're talking to them on the internet and social media, guess what we're talking about? How we're excited you are. <laughs> about Glacier. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and so, and, and it, you know what else we're doing? I've already paid for the flights. Love it. 
Yep. You know what you else are we're ready. doing? We've already paid the down payment on the Airbnb. Mm-hmm. And, I, and we all know, and we Venmo all of that together. So you see, going to Glacier is a lot like retiring, okay? Mm-hmm. Is that you've got to get, start where you are, know what you want to do, plan what it looks like, see what it's going to cost, start paying for it, mm-hmm. start putting away. The best way, I think, to start putting it away. And yes, I don't make any money off of this. And a lot of financial advisors are now advocating moving out of 401ks and not using 401ks. But I, I'll, I'll tell you, human reality comes into play too. And the automation, you know, Kristen, you and I have a good friend named Dave Bach, a mm-hmm. mutual friend. Yep. And he's all, he wrote The Automatic Millionaire. It's a great book on automating your retirement. And the 401k, is the very best way if you're in a nonprofit, the 403B or the 457, but whatever plan your work has that will take your money out before it hits your checking account, that way you have to do nothing but sign up and it'll take out a certain amount every single paycheck and just let that start to build up. Mm-hmm. So that's how you do it. You and you get to... the match often, right? If companies are matching, you don't want to leave that free money on the table. If you're out there and you're not, and you're not, you may not be able to afford it. Okay. That may be legitimate, Mm -hmm. but if I'm able to put in $4 and somebody else is going to put in four more dollars and I get $8 for putting in $4, Mm -hmm. Kristen, I think that's a pretty good deal. Yep, I I, I don't know in California where I live, where we live, where everybody listening, that's a pretty good deal for me to put in four and get eight Mm -hmm. or whatever your match is. You're so right. So I think the first thing to do is to start those accounts like a 401k, a Roth 401k, a Roth IRA, an IRA. And there again, this is where working with a financial planner to know what your your short-term goals, your intermediate goals, and your long-term goals are to put it in the right bucket. That's what you need to do. You need to assess where you are. You need to sketch those goals out. And then you need to get started in something that's automated. We can help you do that. We can help you start building the lumber yard that's going to build your 401k. Give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. And again, that number to get Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management to be able to help you figure out your own personal plan is 888-930-5609. They would love to be able to meet with you and help you navigate everything we've been talking about on today's show. And specifically, if you need help building this blueprint for your retirement, if this is something you need to prioritize in order for you to take care of yourself, we encourage you to pick up the phone and call today. That number to call is 888-930-5609. More with Tom Mosley and Right on the Money right after this. Get your retirement right on the money with Tom Mosley. Call 888-930-5609 for your no-cost appointment. 888-930-5609. At Mosley Wealth Management, we believe that financial planning should be different by design. That's why we don't use a one-size-fits-all approach to retirement planning. Your life and your career has been completely different from that of your neighbors, family, or friends, because there is only one you. That's why we believe in taking the time to get to know you, your goals, and your unique financial situation. With Mosley Wealth Management, our team will work with you to develop a comprehensive retirement plan that is tailored to your specific needs. We'll help you identify areas where you can potentially reduce risk and maximize returns, while also addressing potential tax implications that could impact your retirement savings. We believe that financial planning should be transparent, accessible, and easy to understand. That's why we take the time to explain complex financial concepts in simple, straightforward terms. Our goal is to help you make informed decisions and implement strategies that are aimed to help you achieve your financial objectives. With our comprehensive approach to retirement planning, we'll work with you every step of the way to help you work towards achieving your unique retirement goals. At Right on the Money and Mosley Wealth Management, we make retirement planning different by design. Call Tom Mosley and the team at Mosley Wealth Management today for your complimentary retirement blueprint. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. We have been talking today all about 
the sandwich generation and what that means for folks in their 40s and 50s, but also what it means for the entire family. Because as we've said on the show, it affects the baby boomers. It affects your younger children as well. And what we are talking about now in this segment, we're continuing on our discussion of solutions for those of you who are feeling the squeeze, who are in the sandwich generation, things you can be doing right now to be able to prioritize yourself and your retirement. You mentioned we were talking about the importance of contributing to a workplace retirement plan. And I know, Tom, that this is not something that you and your team make any money off of. And yet you offer 401k coaching for your clients. Talk a little bit more about what that is and what goes into it. Well, a 401k to most people, Kristen, is just a jungle. I mean, it's just a bunch of things on there, a list of things. You can look them up. It's They're actually in separate accounts that are not really invested in those actual things, but things right, meaning that the options you have things. at these workplace retirement plans is what you're saying is the jungle, right? <laughs> it is. It's a jungle. And I recently reviewed a plan and there were 24 options in that plan. Two mm-hmm. of them were like fixed income or money market where you're not going to make anything significant. And the other 22 options, this was right at the end of last year, 2022, And every single option was down over 20%, bonds or stock. Mm -hmm. So so there's not a lot of safety in there. Mm -hmm. And you still have a risk tolerance level within you that you need to try to match up in that 401k. So what did we do? We cannot manage your 401k. But when somebody decides to work with us and they become our client, then we are able to then take their 401k options And we're able to make an evaluation of those different investments and say, if the market's really doing well, this is where you need to be if it's a growth time. Mm -hmm. If the market's really doing poorly and it's a Katie bar the door, get out of the way, this is where you need to hide. And if the market's just floating, like it actually still has in the past two years, maybe it's beginning to take off. Then what we do is we say, for the middle plan, this is where you need to be. For the aggressive growth plan, this is where you need to be. And we can actually coach you on your 401k once we know what your options are. So that's one of the things we offer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't have a 401k, we can set you up with regular IRAs. Mm -hmm. If you own your own business and you get paid on a 1099, there's a possibility we could set you up on a SEP SEP IRA, which would allow you to put far more money than a than the regular IRA of sixty five or seventy five hundred dollars per year. So, again, that's where we need to talk to you so that we can look at your particular situation to make sure that every single available opportunity you have to put away money in the right tax bucket is there for you, and you're taking advantage of it, or at least having the opportunity for you to take advantage of it. It's so helpful to know that people can get this kind of advice. You know, I think of how many people when they were thrust into a workplace environment and they are given these plans without any education, without any manual. And I've heard stories of people who just literally looked over at their neighbor and said, well, what are you choosing? Okay, I'll choose that too. (laughs) That's so common. But to your point, there are things that can be done based on your individual situation that a lot of folks probably aren't even aware of. And I love that you're committed to helping them make the most of the workplace retirement plans they have available to them. Now, there are about to be a lot more options within your 401ks because of two bills that have been passed in Congress in the past three or four years. The first one was Secure Act 1.0, but then it got an even uh, more detailed law with Secure Act 2.0 last year. And that's going to cause employers to have to offer more Roth 401ks available to people. A lot of people know about a Roth IRA or they're beginning to understand about a Roth IRA, but the idea that the Roth 401ks are going to be more available to people is going to present a lot more options that are good, Mm -hmm. but also a lot more options that could be bad and a lot more decisions that people that sometimes are uninformed are going to have to make. Right. A lot more things that you are going to be able to help folks with, (laughs) bottom line. And I know that one of the misconceptions I've heard with these newer Roth 401k plans, and and I, I want to hear your take on this, because some people have this misconception of, oh, I make too much, so therefore I'm not eligible for the Roth 401k. 
But you and I both know that while there's income limits for a Roth IRA, that's not the case for Roth 401k. So can you shed some light on that? Well, let's talk about those limits as well. If you're over 50, that income that income limit that you can put 7500 into a Roth if you as a single person and it changes every year and we're at the change of a year here. So let me just give you a ballpark. If you make around 105 to $115,000, you got to be really careful as to how much you're putting into a Roth if you're a single person. Mm -hmm. And if you're a married person and you're married filing jointly, adjusted gross income is a little over 200,000. You've got to be really careful as to what you put into a Roth. Now, here's what catches people. This is this is from 28 years again of experience. Mm -hmm. What catches people is you're making 150, no problem. You get a raise to 170, no problem. And over a period of years, bingo, you push yourself into that Roth exclusion area for IRAs. Mm -hmm. And you're now making $240,000 as a couple or 120 as a single person and you're out of bounds. Mm -hmm. And you didn't even realize it. And sometimes even tax people don't catch it when they do their taxes. That could be all solved if you get a Roth 401k option. Right, because those income a, limits don't apply to the Roth 401k. They do not apply. You're, you're able right. to put the entire amount into a Roth if that 401k allows you to do that. So mm -hmm. you need to check out your 401k. A lot of times what we do is we just have people bring their 401k options to us. We're able to help them decide what to go into. We're able to help them decide from a tax perspective. You see how it gets complicated mm -hmm. from a tax perspective, how, whether they need to go into the regular or Roth. And a lot of times we split it. We do half into a regular and half into a Roth, particularly Kristen, if the company won't match the Roth, but they will match the regular. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like I've got terms running out my ears and this is my field. And this is why we we do offer people to come in and just sit down with us and we can talk about your particular situation. Right. Well, and I know you're very well versed in a lot of plans and you do this day in, day out for folks. Again, we were talking about 401k coaching, and that's a huge part of prioritizing your own financial self-care, if you will, especially for those of us that are in this sandwich generation. This is Right on the Money with Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management. Get your own no-cost complimentary retirement plan review. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. I know we only have a few minutes left on today's episode. I feel like there's so much more we could talk about, but what would be some other must-do items on the checklist of helping folks prioritize their financial well-being? You know, I, I want to mention in the next couple of minutes, two things. Number one, if you're in your 50s and you've got a mortgage and you may have a Parent PLUS loan and you may have credit card debt, it, it's the negative part of it. Try to get out of debt. The people who go into retirement and they're debt free, they are so contented. Mm -hmm. They are so happy. I call it running the low hurdles every single month is that you don't have that much of a monthly budget to clear. When you get out of work, get out of employment, you're going to have to have a regular flow of income. That's the first thing we sit down and figure out with people when we build a retirement blueprint, how much income do you need? And if you've got a big credit card debt, a big parent lo student loan debt, and you've got a big mortgage on top of that, then it's, it's difficult. It really mm -hmm. is hard. It makes your retirement financial blueprint a lot more clouded. It, you can't build as big a house. You can't go as many places. You can't do as many things. So, so having a, a plan, to not only, like we talked about previously, building a portfolio there, a lumber yard to put together into a blueprint, but also getting out of debt that just burdens you down is so important. And a, and a somewhat related thing is don't go through your 50s with a lot of debt, mm -hmm. with kids still at home, not properly prepared yet for retirement, and not cover yourself with the proper amount of life insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate to be Debbie Downer on here, but not everybody who's planning on retiring in their 60s makes it through their 50s. Yeah. And if you don't, and you've got other people depending on you, depending on your income, depending on what you're saving for the whole family for the 401k, back to the parents are depending on you, the kids are depending on you, your spouse is depending on you, and if something happens to you, 
You need life insurance, Mm -hmm. not for yourself. You need life insurance, as the old commercial used to say, for the loved ones in your life. Mm -hmm. And those are that's what we mean by the holistic retirement blueprint. We want to look at every single situation you have. Mm -hmm. You may need long term care. The other thing that can deplete assets and take your retirement away from you. So those all of those things and many, many more is what we do. See, here's what happens. You call in, you say, I want an appointment with one of the advisors from Mosley Wealth Management. We set up a time to sit down with you in one of our five offices, Glendale, Arcadia, Ontario, Scripps Ranch, Anaheim. You bring your stuff in. We look at where you are. We start to build your plan. And your plan is different than everybody else's. Some people have been calling in recently, Kristen, and saying, just send me the blueprint. Mm Mm-hmm. You're like, it doesn't work that way. (laughs) You have no idea what they have to build a blueprint off of. But when you bring that in, we can answer all of these and 10 times this many more questions. We can get those answers for you and build a retirement plan for you. Your only job right now is just pick up the phone and call us. Tom, thank you so much. And again, for all of you listening, we appreciate you joining us. That number to call to get your very own customized, personalized retirement blueprint from Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management is 888-930-5609. Until next week, be safe, be happy, be blessed. We look forward to being back with you next weekend. Have a great week. More Right on the Money with Tom Mosley right after this. Get your own no-cost retirement plan review at 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Investment advisory services offered by duly registered individuals through Mosley Wealth Management Incorporated. Mosley Wealth Management and Mosley Insurance and Financial Services are affiliated companies by common ownership license number OB61811. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refers to fixed insurance products, never securities or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength claims paying ability of the issuing carrier. This content is tended for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the needs of an individual situation. All hypothetical examples are provided for illustrative purposes only. They do not represent real-life scenarios. Mosley Insurance and Financial Services, nor its agents or representatives, may give tax or legal advice. Individuals should consult with a qualified professional for guidance before making any investment decisions. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any government agency. Some of the information provided may be from one or more third parties, which we believe to be reliable sources, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Mosley Insurance and Financial Services.